Hey guys, today we're talking about the Samuel fast, the Daniel fast, and the Esther fast quickly and their purpose in order for you to determine if it's for you or not. So the first one is the Samuel fast. What is it for? The key verse is 1 Samuel 7, 6, but it starts all the way in 1 Samuel 4. It's basically only water for one day, which I assume is 24 hours, so usually it starts at 6 p.m. until 6 p.m. the next day. Only water during that time, so it's like a one day dry fast, I'm not dry, one day water fast. And the purpose of this fast is to break free from bondage and it's all about deliverance. It's all about breaking the chains of and usually it's either free from release from physical or spiritual oppressions. Uh, for example, break free from uh, deliverance from the spirit of fear, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of um, intimidation, the spirit of um, anger, lust, pride, mental health, unforgiveness, sickness, um, false religions, rage, anger, revenge, darkness, break free from all of that. Um, it's it's a bit different than the breakthrough fast, which is the Esther fast, because this is specifically focused on um, on acknowledging that something is wrong and like fasting to change that. It's funny because in Samuel they did this fast also to celebrate and pray for deliverance of Israel. Um, so it's not all sad. Before starting the fast, you need to to acknowledge your bondage acknowledge change your mindset repentance changing your mind repentance means changing your mind next is the daniel fast which is my personal favorite because is the one i can um stick to kind of is the one that i enjoy doing the most let's say and it's um the main passage is uh, in daniel 1 8 uh, but uh, they're actually doing two Daniel fasts. There are two. One that is 10 days and one that is 21 days. So basically what it is is for 10 days or 21 days you eat only vegetables and water plant-based. Because some people also, other translations say that it's plant-based so you can eat rice, you can eat oats, you can eat um, barley and um, wheat, you know, uh, and fruits and vegetables and water, but the point is to not have delicious, well-prepared, juicy treats or sugar, like uh, sweets and delicacies, basically something that is like Wow, delicacies, delicacies. Um, fancy treats, you know. The point is to stay plain and to not give importance to food, basically. The purpose of this fast is to receive direction, purpose, clarity, vision for your life, and a sound mind, a clear mind. And Daniel and his friends did that actually to show that they would be more alert uh, with wisdom and understanding um, than those who ate uh, the king's rich food, wine, meat, usually sweets. Uh, and they did, they did become more alert and understanding and more had more wisdom and there's, the Bible says their skin was better too so um, yeah, that's it and again, it's, it's like a change of like eating lifestyle but don't forget, I see a lot of recipes there on the internet making a whole like buffet out of Daniel fast but the, don't forget that the point is to not consider food as much so what you can do is just 
cook your vegetables and rice and whatever for um, the week, the two weeks and just take from it, from the fridge every time you're hungry, you know. And the last one we are talking in this video is the Esther Fast. The Esther Fast is three days strict, 72 hours, no water, no food. And that's the hardest one and for me but some people do which I used to do back in November um, three days but I was eating after sunset or after like 6 p.m. like 24 hours I was doing three days in a row of Samuel fast for example um, and sometimes you really need to ask God because sometimes he will allow you certain foods and you will feel at peace in your heart uh, with certain foods so for me he allowed me tea and he allowed me to add honey and uh, lemon in my tea so it would fill you up a little bit um, and sometimes even like you know the vitamin that you put into water so that's how I survived <laughs> last time but I don't I'm not doing it I the Esther fast is for the purpose of the Esther fast is for breakthrough is um, like breakthrough <laughs> how to explain that and that's why it's a desperate kind of fast now I was desperate in November or October um, several times and why I said I'm not doing it anymore is because because it's a breakthrough you're not having breakthroughs every week you know um, you're having maybe twice a year three times a year maybe or every season or once a year once every two years you know so um, it's really desperate fast to go normally without food and water for 72 hours um, and how it presents itself is usually um, the first day that's the symbolism um, the first day you die to your old self the first day there's the first day is like um, Jesus actually at three days in the gra uh, grave symbolizes that too um, first so first day you die there's a part of that you let go of everything you thought was right in the past you let go you leave it in God's hands you detach yourself from it whether it's a person, whether it's like a mindset, whether it's your wishes and your desire, you abandon them. You clean up your house, you clean up your room, you eliminate them. The second day, nothing happens usually. Silence. Silence, nothing happens. It's dead. And the third day is the rising to your new version of self. So this is what usually happens in an Esther fast three-day fast you die to self silence God transforms you in the darkness and then the third day you rise up as a new person and I think I did that once in August last August too and like it's funny how like every day God gave me like a passage specific passage from the Bible and I remember so well then the second day there was nothing and the verse I read was saying nothing re enjoy life and like nothing like dramatic or anything so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video there are obviously way more than just three but this is the three that i was talking about today and yeah i'll see you in the next video Um, I forgot to say something every time you do a fast you need to um, basically define what you want as an outcome out of it you need to tell God what you want as an outcome out of the fast and tell him and wait for it <laughs> wait for it surely it will come so you need to define what you want out of it and pray for what you want out of it and uh, it will happen for me it did happen and God told me to let go and trust the process and 
leave it in God's hands and not try to change anything in my situation with my own strings, which I used to want to do before. But God told me clearly, if it's for you, it's for you. You won't need to fight for it. And God is capable of changing hearts and all that. So that was it. Clarity. Hope you liked this video. See you in the next